How's it going guys, Archer Black C here, and we are here with a special video. Uh, it's gonna be an opening slash test of the new Hyper Dragonoid. I say test because he's actually just a, uh, okay, come on, okay, wow. All right, hold on, <laughs> this just isn't working. Let me get a core here of, there he is, Dragonoid Ultra. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and open him up and we're gonna make a good comparison while my cat tries to eat a mosquito that's in the house. Okay, she's good. Um, anyway, uh, so we're going to open them up, talk about them a little bit, do a normal opening session, and then we're going to have a little test between these two, and I'll tell you why here in a second. All right, so I'll see you there. All right, we're back, and we got them all open. Um, so the first thing you're obviously going to notice is that this is Hyper Dragonoid, as it says on the packaging, right? Hyper Dragonoid, but you're going to get a Dragonoid Ultra character card. So we've all seen this. We know what it is, 5-5 five, five, uh, Shield Fist. So... Um, you might think that that is weird, but you do get the Hyper Dragonoid Evolution card. So, the thing about this, first of all, he comes with a really good uh, cores, so just buy it for that anyway. Uh, and you're also going to want to buy it for uh, what we've been told anyway. So, the way that Hyper Dragonoid works is, let's get a good look at him first. Um, the way that he's going to work is that he is almost what you could call a reskin, almost, of uh, Dragonoid Ultra. Uh, he counts as Dragonoid Ultra, so on your team, you can use either Dragonoid Ultra or Hyper Dragonoid for your Dragonoid Ultra character card. That's the best way to say it, I think. Um, so you can't have both of these guys on your team at once, okay? Um, the reason for that is, or if it's not an intentional reason, because I, I don't believe that they would make this for this purpose, but we all know that Dragonoid Ultra uh, throws his cores off and does not land on them. And it's because of his wings and stuff like that. He throws the cores off and he doesn't ever stand properly and you don't get your core bonus half the time. This one, after uh, hanging out at MomoCon, I like his tail a lot better actually. His tail design is a lot different. Makes it a little, a little more stable too, which again, also helps with the design of this. Um, after messing around at MomoCon, everybody started using these because they were selling these for like the first couple of days and some of us got lucky to actually get some. Um, this one apparently is a lot better at picking up cores. Now whether that's the magnet placement on his little back here or if it's the fact that these wings, so these little extra wings, kind of the definition or I don't even know how this works actually. Okay, yeah. So these wings actually close down. So when he opens his horns manual, by the way, some people don't like that. I don't really care. Um, his wings come down and this is how he will actually open. So you don't have the wings opening and bumping on your core or throwing him up and him missing his cores because of that. The wings actually stay down and then it's just the magnet holding right there. So, um, we are going to do a little test here, visuals here with me, and uh, we are going to test out, do a couple of rolls, and we'll kind of give them a little point total. We'll do about 10 rolls each. I'll edit it down so it doesn't take you forever uh, to watch. Um, but for each core that this one picks up or that one picks up, we're just gonna do a little test, all right? And it's I'm editing it down from one take, so I'm not trying to lie and make this one seem better, I promise. Um, so we're gonna set up for that and we are going to uh, see if this thing is actually any better. So again, just final notes, you can use this for your Dragonoid Ultra, okay? Uh, that's, that's basically just what you need to get out of here. Um, and he's really cool, just get one anyway. We're gonna get this in some of the same factions. I don't think as of now on the sheet that it says uh, that we're getting an Orlis version of this. So you know Orlis Dragonoid Ultra is really cool and really interesting. Um, as of now, I don't think that that's happening. I think it's just Darkest, Pyrus, and Chaos. Yeah, so uh, anyway, we're gonna set up for this and hopefully this will be an enjoyable video for you guys and uh, we'll see you there, see ya. All right guys, we're back. Uh, we got some multiple camera angles here that we're gonna try to give you the best look at this. Um, but as you can see here, uh, they are very similar looking in uh, ball form. Uh, even on the sides, uh, if, I don't know, try to guess. Which one is it? No, I'm kidding. Uh, this is Hyper Dragonoid. It has a little more detail on the clip here. And uh, this is uh, what they're going to be looking like. So we are going to do 10 rolls each. Um, and then I'll put point totals on 
each one for how many they pick up and keep a core. I don't care if they stand up or whatever. Um, and if if they miss, we're going to re-roll and give them an... If they open, I'm going to give them a point for keeping a core. So if we miss, we're just going to roll it back, okay? So we'll do 10. Shouldn't miss. Ten, yeah, we shouldn't. <laughs> shouldn't miss. We made a big matrix here just for uh, testing purposes. So uh, you want to go first with Ultra Dragon. I have Hyper. He has Ultra. All right, so that, uh, that kind of concludes our initial test here. You can see the poem totals here. Um, uh, we <laughs> I actually didn't really count, so I'm assuming that this one did better right now. Um, we're gonna try something though, because we're thinking that Ultra Dragonoid uh, actually eats his cores a little more often when you roll him faster. So say you're trying to block your opponent or something like that. Uh, so we're gonna try some faster rolls. We'll just each to see how that works. All right, guys. So that kind of concludes our test. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not incredibly different, um, but I think the long-term test, so the ten that we did, uh, definitely proves that this one is a lot better. Uh, I say that as I'm <laughs> as I'm talking about it. Uh, this one is a lot better at picking up cores, and uh, at least the least you can say is that it would be more reliable than uh, old Dragonoid Ultra over there. So. Um, when these come out, guys, make sure you pick one up. Uh, they're really cool. The sculpt is really interesting. They both suck. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, here we put them down here for the final angle. Um, yeah, so um, take uh, that information and do with it what you will. Uh, but until you get this, obviously play your uh, Dragonoid Ultra because he is pretty good. Um, he's a 5-5 starter. He comes with a shield, uh, so it's nice to have. Uh, but again, remember, this replaces that on your team. So you can't have both of these guys on your team, unfortunately, right now. Uh, two 5-5 five, five Pyrus guys with shields would be kind of dangerous, I think. So um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, share it around. Share it on Twitter. Share it on whatever you want to share it on. I don't care. Reddit. Uh, would you, I'm going to put it on Reddit. Anyway, uh, if you like the mat that this took place on, check it out. Uh, this is Matrix Mats that we do. 
Uh, this is my custom one. We can do custom ones for you too if you want, uh, and we can do all kinds of stuff with them. So check that link down in the description. Uh, if you do order one of these mats, make sure you go to Inked Gaming to order it, and you can get a discount from us if you use coupon code RXX. X, 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 C, 10. <laughs> uh, and it'll get you 10% off your order on Inked Gaming. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I think this was pretty interesting to see. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. See you later. Bye. Bye. There you go. Trash. I like this one a lot.